So in this video I'm going to reveal what the three ingredients are for the homemade etching solution. Ingredient one is vinegar, and that's white distilled vinegar I got from Maya. Ingredient two is hydrogen peroxide. So kind of the same as the whole muriatic acid peroxide mix that we've been using. Um, but there's a third ingredient that I found that when added to the solution speeds things up tremendously. And that third ingredient is da -da 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 -da, salt. And you want to add these ingredients in the ratio of about 100 milliliters of vinegar, 100 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, and about 7 milliliters of salt, which I'm just going to estimate. So I'm going to use a measuring jug and a plastic tub for that, and let's start measuring it out. So, 100 of vinegar, about 100, about the same, of hydrogen peroxide, and put some salt in the tub. I'm just going to estimate that. There we go. So about that much salt. And mix it up. There we go. Okay, and I've already got some artwork done here. Uh, it's already got the etching mask on it. I'm just going to mix it up. and drop it in. So here you can definitely see the uh, kind of dirty coating that it gets and if you just agitate it that will just lift off. It just comes, comes off and the process repeats. Not sure what it is but it definitely works. So here you can see we're almost through to the board. Um, one thing I have noticed, if the reaction slows down, you can just sprinkle salt over the surface of the board, let it sink through the liquid, and that starts the whole reaction up again. Um, another interesting side effect is that the water or the fluid doesn't turn that blue. If I were to use regular um, muriatic acid and peroxide, it would go a very vivid blue, meaning a lot of the copper was dissolved in the actual liquid. Well, here, the copper is deposited on the bottom as like a precipitate. I'm not really sure what it is. It's this dark, gacky stuff. Um, so the liquid doesn't actually contain that much copper. 